It's the French woman, Natalie Tozia. Does Natalie have a chance at all? I really don't think Natalie has uh, too much chance. She's played it three times. She's never won more than four games. But it's the end of the season. She's also absolutely thrilled to have made it to the Virginia Slims Championship. She's got absolutely nothing to lose. I think she'll go for it. She'll probably be as good as she ever will be. But she's not going to beat Monica because I don't think anybody's going to beat Monica uh -huh. tonight. There's a pick from Virginia Wade. And Bruce, Bruce, where are you, Bruce? The Cold War is over. Come in. Thank you, bud. It's nightfall in New York in November, and that can mean only one thing, the Virginia Slims Championships. The anticipation this year heightened by the fact that four former champions are in the draw. There's eight-time titleist Martina Navratilova, Steffi Graf, Gabriela Sabatini, and two-time defending champion Monica Professionals, all very good players, and every one of these sisters, the one you're watching here, Manuela Maleva, now Madame Franier, since she's married to a Swiss, Francois Franier, who's her coach. But she and her sister, Katrina, and her little sister, Maggie, have all now beaten Martina Navratilova, who steps into the picture with umpire Jane Tabor. And let me tell you that I'm sure that uh, if you're the opponent playing one of the Maleva sisters, you have the memory of the others because they have very similar games, they have uh, similar appearances, and uh, of course one always identifies the three of them together. But it's been so much a family of theirs that has been out here on the tour with their mother. And uh, she has really held them in very good uh, on track, really. She's been an excellent coach, the mother, and then she's let them go when the time has uh, been right to let them go. Well, it's interesting that both of these young women got out from behind the Iron Curtain. Uh, Martina Navratilova had to do it drastically in 1975, and you remember that day, Virginia, because you were at Forest Hills. It was finals day, and there's never been quite an act of upstaging as Martina pulled because she had lost in the tournament earlier and it was the day of the men's final, the Sunday, and Manolo Orantes pulled one of the biggest upsets ever. He beat Jimmy Connors, the defending champion in the final. But it didn't matter what Manolo did because just before the match started, Martina came to the press marquee and said, I'm not going back to Czechoslovakia. I'm going to become a United States citizen. Well, Arantes got good ink on the sports page, but Martina was on page one with that announcement. Well, Martina was really on page one ever from the time she started. I mean, she was so good right from the start. And uh, thinking of Manuela here, as we see her warm up, she has really shown tremendous stamina in the sport. She has shown, although she has got so much of a baseline game. She has shown signs that she's very willing to try to be more adventurous. And you know, that's not that easy when you are really built into a mold in the game. She speaks wonderfully good English, fairly deliberate and slow, but always precise and perfect. I was just speaking and thoughtful. to thoughtful. Uh, absolutely. She's an intelligent girl. She's very uh, conscious of what her, her role is. And uh, I think, you know, they have a tremendous amount of pride, that family from coming from Bulgaria. So it's 10 and two for Martina, but the big win for Manuela two years ago at the US Open. And they last played, as you can see, in Los Angeles. And she's a very tough competitor, Manuela. And she had a great break. Her mother, as Virginia mentioned, Yulia Berberian, nine times champion of Bulgaria, but she could not get out of the country during her formative years. But then her parents, Mike and Tina Berberian, brought to you by Fila, footwear and sportswear. Well, it's almost redundant to tell you that Martina Navratilova might attack, and she's done awfully well indoors. She is a great athlete, goes without saying. But we have to say it. Ah, weaknesses? Well, it's awfully hard to find weaknesses on Martina, but th this is the one area where I think she is a slightly less superior player than she used to be, and that is just that she doesn't get in quite as fast behind her serve. So that will be a factor against somebody who returns well. Manuela Maleva Franier leads off, and the Virginia Slims begins. Well, her groundies 
are powerful. And she feels, even though she doesn't volley that much, that she is aggressive from the backcourt, and she is. You really go after that second serve, Virginia? Well, I think that this is uh, always a problem against Martina, because if Martina sees a short second serve, she is going to go after it like mad. And here's one coming up. She did well with the first point with her second serve. And she can expect that from Martina. Chip and charge. And Manuela tends to put that little bit of slice on her second serve most of the time. And that goes to Martina's backhand. And Martina really attacks better off the backhand side. Just a little time to get adjusted to the court. The court only went down today. They laid the court and they've been practicing before at the hotel. So it does take some adjustment. They would have got some practice time out there today, but. Right. They would have practiced uh, for sure today, and I know that Martina was out there, but it still takes a little familiarization. In 1907, Pasadena's... To Manuela Maleva Frenier, right here, 25-year-old. And Martina is 36. I think she's got a lot of tennis left in her. And if Martina can get off to a good start with her serving, her confidence just goes soaring up. So much spin on the serve. You know, the thing that is so difficult about Martina's serve is that she puts all sorts of variety of spin on the ball to any spot in the court, so you never know what's coming. In fact, she doesn't even use that big flat first serve very much that she just tried then. Oh. This is where Manuela can give her problems because uh, if she does get a hold of that serve, she knows how to return it. So Manuela, who you will see most of the time at the baseline, but she says, I'm not necessarily a defensive player because when I'm back there, I'm attacking even though I'm deep. And there she has her first ace. So let's listen to Manuela. 
Many people would c consider me as a defensive player because I don't go to the net, but I don't think of myself as a defensive player. I think you can be aggressive from the baseline. And this is what I'm trying to do, be aggressive from the baseline, even if I don't go come to the net so often and put pressure on the opponent from the baseline. Well, this is what we call soundbite sadism, because once you get somebody to tell you all about her game, as she did, and how she never leaves the baseline, she probably plays the best volleying point of her career. Nice going, Manuela. She looks absolutely, totally at home on that backhand volley. It was volley. terrific. Look, she's coming again. Well, maybe not quite so much at home on that one. And, uh, you know, that is the difficulty for a player who is brought up on the baseline. They learn to volley in the static position pretty well, but if they have to really move and react, that is an instinct that is pretty difficult for them to ever understand. Mm. Both brought up on European clay, where you would think that Martina would have been a ground stroker, but never. She just loved to dash to the net. Well, this was an absolutely tremendous get there. Beautifully hit that. She used the wrist. She is strong on the wrist. 30 all. Beauty. So it's two, says in the second row, Billie Jean King, check jacket, with Craig Carden, coaches of Martina. Craig is the regular, but Billie Jean comes in for, what would you say, a psychological lift, emotional lift? Definitely, and Billie Jean is uh, one of the best of, the, of that information. Now a break point. And really, Billie Jean did a lot to change Martina around when she was having three years of really, for her, indifferent results. There were doubts in her mind, and now she seems to have really shed most of those doubts. And they give an attacking return, and Martina Navratilova has a two games to one lead. Olympic track star Jackie Joyner Kersey wears Ray-Ban sunglasses because they block glare. Swimmer Matt Biondi to protect himself from harmful UV rays. And diver Wendy Williams, she wears them for the distortion-free lenses. At least, that's what they told us. Ray-Ban sunglasses, proud sponsor of the 1992 U.S. Olympic team. Here's what people are saying about Wild Bill's dinner extravaganza in Buena Park. Martina Navratilova has just secured her first service break. She leads three games to one in her 13th career match against Manuela Maleva Franier. Martina with a 10 2 edge. And already in the match, Martina asserting herself at the net and coming up with some, you know, really good sizzling serves here. It's long at the baseline.
And this is always where Martino is so tough on an indoor court. She just starts to get into a groove, pounds out these big serves. So her first ace, they had one apiece. It's 4-1 for Navratilova. I read that one right, didn't I? Yes. I mean, you just sort of see her when she's, she tells you so much about the way she is feeling. You can feel the confidence oozing. Absolutely the problem when Manuela misses her first serve. Now, even though you know what Martina is going to do, she does it so well that there's nothing you can do to counteract it. that graphic we just saw saying that Martina had missed a volley at the net. I don't even remember her I missing a volley. I don't She's either. Perhaps it's left over from last year. yourself a break point. I tell you, it's so exciting when you win a point like this. She was running one way, totally decided to go that way again, and Manuela must have been mad by now that she had wrong guessed twice in a row. And so she does break through. You're watching the Prime Ticket Network, sports TV that hits home. If you don't want your car or truck to be stolen, do what over 220,000 police officers from across the country suggest. Use the club. I'm Officer Jack Cleric here to inform you about the device the National Fraternal Order of Police recommends you use to protect your vehicle against theft, the club. The club is an easy-to-use, tough-to-defeat, guaranteed anti-theft device used to protect your car or truck. The club attaches easily to the steering wheel and prevents your vehicle from being stolen. Equally effective in preventing theft, the club is now available in four bright designer colors, each backed by the Maker's $500 guarantee. I'm Officer Lisa Hale asking you to select the original club or the new designer club to make sure the anti-theft device you buy says the club on the handle. When it comes to quality, guaranteed anti-theft protection for your car or truck, there's only one name you need to know, the club. Avoid cheap imitations. Ask for the club by name. The club, now available at most stores where auto supplies are sold. Work very well together. They feel they complement one another. And Craig says that Martina is in extremely good physical shape. He says you still have to remind her to think about some things. And he feels that at times she is not quite as thoughtful on the court as she might be. Perhaps lets her mind wander. But considering that she's won 161 tournaments in her career, which is more than any other man or woman, she's thinking most of the time. Well, one of the things that Martina prides herself on is if you set her a task, she likes to accomplish it, and it gives her great 
satisfaction to do that. I'm sure she hasn't given up on winning a 10th Wimbledon. She's so good on that grass. Well, I don't think she's uh, shown any signs at all of uh, going off. I mean, as I said, the only area I've ever spotted is that she isn't quite as quick coming into the net, but you learn to find ways around that. You know, and if you serve, uh, throw your body into the court a bit more as you serve, then you're going to be more economical with your footwork getting in there. She leads 4-1, 30-15. And 40. 50. And if you serve as well as that, you don't have to get into the net no. behind it. You know, that's that's the other point. And imagine how tough that serve was here on grass. It's murder. She advances her lead to five games to one. Martina has won the last five games. And Manuela must be feeling very out of sorts at the moment. You get slightly embarrassed, you know, if you're getting whitewashed like this. Ace said she has two. And that sort of error there from Manuela is pure frustration. She's been beaten by so many shots that she starts trying to do a little bit more, and she just totally jerked at that ball. One of Manuela's strengths is her lob, and this is a pretty good lob, but what sort of treatment did that have for Martina? She's in great form tonight. Aritalova has won four tournaments this year, and Manuela won. the only double fault of the evening. And when I said she's had a little bit of time off, it's been a long, hard season. And she could be just a little bit rusty here. She's got it, and a set point is here for Martina to grab. <laughs> And Manuela hits the baseline. Not a bad time for it. That was a set point. And it's deuce number two. Ace. 
ace. Oh, I thought she had an ace. Oh, Martina's going to give it to her. And uh, Martina thinks so, too, and just keeps walking, overruling the linesman herself. That's the player's prerogative, and it's 5-2 for Navratilova. So let's retreat for just a moment. This is a game point. It was called fault. Unbelieving is Manuela as it's called fault. And then she recognizes that Martina is not going to play anymore in that game. The game is over and it's 5-2 for Martina with her back to us. A player is permitted to give away a point in that situation. A player cannot take a point, but she may give one away, and Martina, in effect, overruled the lines person herself. Ace for her. She has two. Probably the only reason you don't see players giving away more points is uh, just because you get disappointed when your opponent doesn't do the same back to you. Well, they're expensive. Oh, Manuela! What a wonderful sequence. Finished with a top spin lob. And exactly, you move your opponent out wide and low, get them out of position a bit. She's beginning to hang over the net, and that's when you take your third option. 30 all. And a set point. Second one for Martina. And she has the opening set. Six games to two. And that set went really fast. It took less than 30 minutes. And uh, how is Manuela possibly going to slow the tide here? Manuela starts the second. And let's go to Bruce Beck on the floor. All right, thank you very much. And with Martinez coach Craig Carden. Craig, a pretty good first set in terms of her focus. Yeah, I think she's concentrating really well and she's staying aggressive and uh, keeping her approach shots nice and low. And uh, that's why she won the first set. I just hope she keeps it up. What was her mental attitude coming into the tournament? Her mental attitude was uh, really sharp and focused and she knows what she needs to do to win. All right, back upstairs. Yeah, well, if she does a few things like that, she's gonna win. Craig Carden and Billie Jean King pleased as Martina knocks the ballpark apart. And that was uh, Manuela's husband who was pushing the ball back here. But I tell you, M Martina is on such a high at the moment. She is really hot. And as Craig said, the only thing that uh, can happen is that you get so overexcited that you're playing so well that you might let up a little bit. And usually you think of Manuela as never making any errors, so if they are out, they hardly miss. That was a bad error. And she is just rattled at the moment by the quality of Martina's play. Well, that wasn't much of an approach. When you're ahead, you go in on anything. But Manuela is very sturdy, and she could hammer that forehand.
Break point right away. Nicely played. Held it. White. And although that was the second serve from Manuela, her serving is, is looking good tonight. She has uh, said that she's been doing more in the way of weight training in the last few years, but she's upped it recently, obviously thinking that she needs a little more power, and that's very good serving. First game, second set to Manuela Maleva Franier over Martina Navratilova. I looked in the phone book and there were pages of dentist advertising, but uh, I couldn't tell one dentist from another. My friends would say, try my dentist, he's great, but they couldn't give me any specific At Madison Square Garden, I'm Bud Collins with Virginia Wade, Bruce Beck, and we'll be with you every evening during the week through Friday, Saturday afternoon at the Virginia Slims Championships. 20th anniversary version started in 1972 in Boca Raton, Florida, on clay, outdoors, Florida kid, teenager, never heard from again, Chris Everett won it. <laughs> and that was not the first time, was it? <laughs> and only time. <laughs> so Martina Navratilova has not lost serve, has not faced a break point, and in fact, <laughs> has only given up three points in serve. And you can see why. And Manuela just has not been able to get her return working at all. And that's just because the serves are too good. One game off. The numbers, Virginia, what do they mean? Well, you can see that the first serve percentage means absolutely nothing in this case <laughs> because Martina's only at 65, but her serving has been so good. The winners are about equal. The unforced errors are a lot higher on Maleva's side. But there's the big difference. The net points, 80%. That's a very high percentage. And if Manuela has any chance of beating Martina, she's got to start passing her and stopping her being so effective at the net. Uh, but she still, she can't do anything at the moment. She just hasn't uh, really got into the gear that Martina's in. Martina started off in top gear here tonight. Martina with only three unforced errors in the first set. Actually, Maleva with 10 unforced errors. That isn't too bad, but she, the other person makes three. And that is not a usual scene for Manuela. Usually those two-handed backhands go ripping past her opponent. This is her 14th tournament. 
She would have played more. She broke her right big toe during the Australian Open. Was out three months. Got the line. Well, she might be well asking where that shot's been all night. This is more her norm. That wasn't such a good backhand, but there it is. She hits it early and she just rips past it. And Martina in pretty good position here, but without a chance. Fifteen thirty, second ball. And break points. It's a fairly awe-inspiring place to play here. It's a wonderful arena, this. It's always the difference between the really top players and the not quite top players. The top players have so much experience in the big stadia around the world. Ooh. The volley off the volley and Martina Navratilova. Two games to one with a service break. Which is 6 2 2 1 and with serve. It's won four of 11 tournaments this year. Bruce Beck. I'm with New York Rangers assistant, New York Rangers head coach, Roger Nielsen. Hey, Roger, uh, Martina, the other night, she was actually on the ice after a Ranger game, and she was skating. What happened? Well, apparently she uh, she wasn't skating. She just went out there and talked them into bringing the nets back out again. <laughs> and uh, so uh, she took a few shots, uh, fell once, too. Uh, all her handlers were a little upset, but uh, she uh, decided she wanted a pair of skates, so... Uh, we arranged for a pair of skates for a tennis racket. What do you think of her athleticism? Well, she's an amazing athlete. I uh, understand is 6% body fat, and here's a woman in her, in her mid-30s that is, uh, she's just outstanding. Uh, she certainly got all the shots, too. Could you use her help on the blue line? <laughs> These days. All right, let's go back upstairs. Thank you, Bruce. Well, that's a game you want to put the ball in the net, but she doesn't want to do it here. Put the puck in the net. But I tell you, she's skating through this match, and Martina is a great athlete. She could have done anything. I, I've seen her ski, and she is a very aggressive skier. Oh, yeah. She would be a good hockey player. Lots of women playing ice hockey in the United States now, collegiately, Virginia. And certainly Martina would fit right in. Woo! <laughs> Little nonchalance there from Martina. She's been getting away with just hitting serves. She almost forgot to go in behind that one. Get that one. <laughs> Up in the stands, caught by Edith Nathanson. Good play. <laughs> And here she'll make absolutely no mistake. That's uh, the way to hit it into the ground, up into the cheap stands. Martina is playing Not too cheap doubles. here, not too cheap. <laughs> but plenty of seats. Yeah. I mean, it's a huge place. Three games to one for Martina Navratilova as Manuela Maleva Franier still hustling.
expect Martina is actually glad she is playing doubles again tonight because this is almost too easy for her at the moment. serving. Probably she wishes this were Perugia, Italy eight years ago when she won the Italian Open on clay, which she loved, and she had to win three matches on the last day because of rain delays, and she beat Chris Everett in the final. Yeah, I remember it, and today it just seems that the court is too small on her, too big on her side and too small on the other side of the net for her. Can't find it. The line. The point of the match. It is incredible when you're on a roll like this. Martina cannot do anything wrong. So, break point. to one lead for Navratilova. At the garden, we're ready. Manuela Maleva Franier is not hurrying out there, and who can blame her? She's been absolutely helpless against Martina Navratilova, especially on serve. Martina giving up four points on serve thus far in building a 6-2, 4-1 lead. And mind you, this woman is the number 10 player in the world, and she's being woman-handled, not man-handled, woman-handled, and being crushed and is not playing badly. Oh, it, there is something fun about watching a player when they are really in full flight like Martina, even if the match ends up uh, being a disappointment as far as a contest, but her tennis is absolutely first class tonight. She's not playing against a patsy. Bruce Beck had better ask her when he interviews her afterwards what it is she's eating or what, are, what can we bottle it? Can we get some? Well, see, she's human. Only double fault. Manuela only came in from Switzerland on Saturday. Nothing to yodel about here. Well, except that it's a great place to be. I oh, mean, yes. Well, you're so a New Yorker she, now, aren't you? Yeah, now she can stay for the week and go shopping. 14 grand tonight. That's a great shot. To the loser, and she hasn't lost yet. And of course, for a Swiss coming to the United States, it's a paradise. Everything's so cheap here. Our dollar went west some time ago. Perhaps Razorback Billy can bring it back. I don't know. When it's a very international tournament, there are players from, I think, seven different countries here. A couple of Czechs, a couple of Spanish, French. German, Argentinian, and in the press room there is this enormous number of media from all over the world. Yeah, I saw Jose Maria Ducamp from Barcelona, Judith Allian from Paris. But there were some languages in there I couldn't understand as oh, well. Oh, it's terrific. from the New York Times, Jim Greenwich from the Boston Globe. 
quite a lineup at that press table. We'll identify some others as the week goes on. Two double faults in this game. She may be cracking, Virginia. I don't think that Martina's cracking, but I I do know that when you beat when you're beating somebody much more easily than you expect, and she's not happy with that. Manuela, pinch yourself, you have a break point. You have a break. So four games to two now for Navratilova. And there was a danger that she wasn't even going to make that previous shot, but once she was, this one was a very difficult one from her. And now this one, she takes her time and just drills it through. Tournament winds up on Sunday, and there are still a limited number of weekend packages available. And the only reason Martina didn't get to that very last ball was that she sort of slightly stumbled there. By weekend package, I just mentioned, I mean you can get the same prime seat for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you can call in. Our operators are ready to go. 212-465-6500. 212-465-6500. Some weekend ticket packages for sale yet. Yeah. So trying to get back into this match. Down 4-1, breaks 2-4, 15 love for Manuela. If she could have strung a couple of points together here, she could at least have made it look a little more respectable, the set, Manuela. Well, if she could win this game, she's, she's in the set. Just down a break. And I've been wondering why she hasn't served a few more second serves to Martina's forehand, because you know that Martina can hit those slice approach shots in her sleep. It's and her the, nature to come in behind the backhand, mm -hmm. isn't it? And the forehand can be fairly intimidating, but she does make quite a few, well, she makes the odd error of it. So she's got another second serve. Let's see what happens. It's harder in this court, though, in the left court. Mm. Always harder against a, a left-hander in that ad court. such a disappointing shot there for Manuela because her serve was so good the return became more difficult really because it was higher she couldn't angle it 34 and there is the break and Martina will serve for the match when we return five games to two You're watching the Prime Ticket Network, sports TV that hits home. Hug is deep in the zone. Luke Robitaille goes back behind the net. Now a pass along the left wing board. Rolls away off to the right side. These two teams have been going at each other all night. Here comes Millen. Prime Ticket, sports TV that hits home. What goes around comes around tonight as the Kings take a trip up north to battle the Vancouver Canucks. Prime Ticket has all the action for you live at 7.30. The Kings and the Canucks tonight on Prime Ticket. The world's oceans are losing their fight to survive. Hi, I'm Gregory Harrison from the Surfrider Foundation. 
Did you know that last year over 2,000 U.S. beaches were closed when pollution and raw sewage threatened human health? Well, now you can do something about it. Join the Surfrider Foundation and help protect our coastal waters. Call 1-800-743-SURF right now. Become a Surfrider member and learn how you can join Surfrider's new ocean water testing program, the Blue Water Task Force. After all, it's your beach. Bruce Beck back at Madison Square Garden. I'm with the biggest women's tennis fan in the world, the Big Dipper, Will Chamberlain. Who are you rooting for this week? Because all of your women are playing here. Uh, well, you know, all the women I like to watch play are here for sure, and they're all friends of mine, so I feel very fortunate to have them as friends. And, uh, I, you know, I just wish they can play their best tennis, you know, because this is the biggest, uh, you know, tennis tournament of its type in the world and uh, they all want to do very very well so what I do is I root for them to play and be on the top of their game all of them now you were in Philadelphia last week trying to tune up for the slims to get yourself motivated and that's right. psyched that's right that's right and I was a uh, very very uh, well actually what I saw was something special I saw Steffi Graf looking like she might want to be number one again I saw Rancho Sanchez who had a chance to even beat Steffi in uh, the finals I saw well she was playing and you know they had eight of the top uh, uh, 12 uh, players there in Philadelphia so I saw a lot of the good ones and uh, had a little young girl coming up named uh, Lisa Raymond from the Philadelphia area who's all she's part of right now the one national collegiate player in uh, the country but you know this is uh, having a chance to watch the best do anything Bruce is what it's all about well you are a frustrated tennis analyst I gotta get it up to bud before you talk all night thank you Bruce and Wilt as we arrive at match point Virginia do you think you could lob over Wilt Chamberlain <laughs> Uh, maybe if I put him in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> you see, in the size of his feet, I know we always they don't get stop. amused sitting next to him watching matches. And there it is, Martina Navratilova in her 66th match in this championship has won her 56th victory over Manuela Maleva Franier. Deuce is wild. 6 2. 6 2. Uh, Martina first played in the Virginia Slims Championships in 1974. Uh, do you remember who beat her, Virginia? Uh, Martina. In the Virginia it, it, Slims 1974. Do you remember who beat her? Um, tell I'll, me. I'll give you a hint. Initials are SVW. Oh, golly. It must have been me. You know, I did beat <laughs> Martina a few times. But boy, did she get good. She got. <laughs> All right. Well, we hate to say this, but the word to you prime ticket watchers, the word is good night. But we'll be with you tomorrow. And until then, Virginia Wade and I and Bruce say keep on hacking till tomorrow. Run out and hit a few balls and prime ticket. Good night. And she got scared and she didn't come into the net at all. She did win the match, but barely. Well, a chance now for Lori to get back into it. 40 love to 40 30. That's exactly the way Lori has a chance to get at her chipping that second serve, or if it was the first serve. And she's way inside the baseline. Steffi Graf has won each of the three games played. A recent federal study has shown that a substantial number of passenger injuries could be avoided using airbags along with seatbelts. Yet many imported luxury cars don't offer passenger airbags, even as an option. Then there's the Acura legend. Passenger airbags are standard. Maybe your passenger safety shouldn't be optional. See the Acura legend at your tri-state Acura dealers. We deliver satisfaction.
Hey, I'm vain. Of course I'm vain. That's why I comb my hair the way I do. That's why I stay in shape. To compete against men half your age takes a certain kind of power. That's why I play like an animal. The power of Power Stick. I give it everything I have. 50% more wetness and odor fighters per stroke. This works best for me. I don't want people going around saying, whew, that Connors, he's tough to be around. Power Stick by Fabergé. Power that won't let you down. And for women, there's triple action lady power antiperspirant. Power that won't let you down. So Laurie McNeil, a discouraging start, has lost the first three games, scoring only four points. She's ranked 18th in the world, drop is two. Uh, do you know that Laurie had, uh, what, two or maybe three chances?